We're back on Larry King Live, celebrating the music of Jerome Kern. Joining James Hammerstein now are members of the current smash revival of Showboat. Rebecca Luca, who plays Magnolia. Mark Jacoby, who plays Gaylord Ravenel. Michelle Bell, who plays Old Joe. And now at our grand piano, Showboat's musical director, Jeffrey Huard. Margaret Whiting and George Shearing will be back later in the show. Who put this... Jeffrey, who put Showboat together? Who came up with this idea to revive Showboat? The idea was put together by Garth Drabinsky, our producer, Harold Prince, and the Rodgers and Hammerstein Foundation, and together they decided it was time for a completely new revival, and Garth uh, decided it should be in Toronto. And there was, was there not, Mark, some controversy? There was indeed, because um, the local community there, members, certain members of the local community felt that this was a racist show and should not should not be the the inaugural production of this new theater in North York. A beautiful new theater. It is. In North, it gorgeous is. theater. Uh, how did you feel, Rebecca, about that criticism? Oh, you get an hour? No. Uh, <laughs> we all we all pretty much felt the same. I think that that it was kind of unwarranted. We felt a little picked on by this group of people. We we don't feel that we're well. I don't feel that we we are putting on a racial a racist show. Watching it to me, so. it's a historical show. <laughs> yeah, we're just we're very much so. Yeah. Did you? Well, pretty simple. Being yeah. black, Michelle, did you feel? Well, no. It, it. I just thought it. I agree with Rebecca. It was very unwarranted. Also, it was coming from a place of naivety. It just they didn't know exactly what the the exact you know, the story was all about. You can't approach uh, something without, you know, at least reading up on it or seeing it. You know, and it's a yeah, love this, story. Yeah, this anger was before it opened, right? Yeah. Did it kind of as soon as it opened, it got rave reviews, and didn't that kind of die away? Yes, it did. A few weeks okay. later. Mm -hmm. Do you expect any problems in New York? Not at all. I hope not. <laughs> How did you get the part, Rebecca? Oh, boy. I had about four or five auditions. A lot of auditions. Just, uh, you know, actually, I had fun auditioning for this show. And, and that's not usually the case. Because? But I, well, I knew Hal Prince from Phantom, and uh, I, knew, I knew the creative team, and I felt at home with them. And you, uh, Mark? Well, we, we had a reading of this, uh, this new production, which uh, Hal Prince had, had written about two years ago in New York, and I did the reading. Uh, an opportunity for the creative team to try it out, see what see what changes they think need to be made. So that was done in October of '91, I think. So I sort of, I guess I had an inside track on the role, and I sort of lumbered my way into it from there. And uh, what about Michelle? Oh, I'm an outsider. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, the new kid. I'm, the, I'm the new kid on the block. Um, basically, uh, this is my first musical. Uh, I've done showboat in opera companies before, but in, as, in, in a musical form uh, where you're doing eight shows a week. Woo, this You're an is opera very, singer? Uh, yeah, yes. It's the first time you've had to act? Yes, yes, and it's fun. I Are love enjoying it. it. Yeah, I'm enjoying it immensely. When, James, did this show open? When did she? 27, 1927. Was it then revolutionary? Yes, I think it uh, got strange reviews, and uh, it, uh, yeah, absolutely. Strange they reviews? Well, they didn't know what to make of it completely, because it... If you, if you hear it, it's like somebody started to write an operetta and ended up with a musical play, which is quite a difference. With uh, an unusual sort of characters. Yeah. It's Captain, the Captain's Wife. It goes on. character. How many years does it cover? about 40 years. Oh, right, yeah. 40 years, right. Yeah. Right. And, uh, uh, Was there any problem over the depiction of, 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 the, of the black on the Broadway stage in 1927? No, no. Because that was way before so. Porgy and Bess, right? Uh, yeah, a bit. Um, Paul Robeson did the London Company. Um, he was the famous Joe. Actually, somebody who did it originally was a tenor. A uh, tenor Jules sang? Jules, Jules yeah, Bledsoe. Jules Bledsoe was not a yeah. Bledsoe. Well, was the, was the more, music, he was more of a baritone, basically. But was the music a hit right away? Was the music universally praised? Are you asking me because you think <laughs> I knew at the time of 1927? No. <laughs> I'm assuming your father told you. Uh, yes, I think it was, yeah. Well, let's do it. Let's... Show them what we're talking about. Let's do a song. You want to do a, a duet? Song first? Song. Okay. What shall it be? What should we oh, do first? We're, we're going to do uh, Make Believe. Make Believe. Oh, which yeah. is okay. grabbing all in. I know he's opening love songs. Hold on. we got to get a break and then we come back. Is that it? All right. We'll take a break. Come right back. And more of Showboat by uh, the wonderful Jerome Kern and our great talented group. Don't go away.
It's a great production. I saw it in Toronto. As I said earlier, it's coming to New York. You're going to love it. Uh, with us are James Hammerstein, the son of Oscar Hammerstein, the godson of Jerome Kern. And around the piano are Jeffrey Huard at the piano. Mr. Huard is the uh, musical. Are you the conductor at Chobo? Yes, sir. Up in Toronto. And Rebecca Luca, Mark Jacoby, and Michelle Bell. And Mark and Rebecca now will sing from Showboat the beautiful make believe. Mm -hmm. That you love me, others find peace of mind in pretending. Couldn't you? Couldn't I? Couldn't we? Make believe our lips are blending in a phantom kiss or two. Might as well make believe I love you For to tell the truth I do Your pardon I pray T'was too much to say The words that betray my For the cold and brutal fact is, you and I have never met. We need not mind conventions, P's and Q's. If we put our thoughts in practice, we can banish all regret. Imagining most anything we choose. This is good.